You are listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. There's a very interesting Gemara. It's in uh, Kiddushin, Pei Aleph. The Gemara is telling us Abraham, about Rab Amram Hasidah. The Gemara is Kovea, that is a Chosid. Not everyone in the Gemara had the, the title Chosid. He was called Amram Hasidah. So one day, they rescued Shvuyot, ladies who were captured by the Goim, and they, they, they did Mitzvah Spidion Shvuim, and they saved them. And where could they bring them now for safekeeping, these young g- girls, till they find the Mishpachas and send them back home? What could be better than the home of Rab Amran Hasida, the biggest chassid in Klal Yisrael, in Godel Ador? Now to protect himself, they pushed away the stairs leading up to the attic. They put the girls in the attic, and these stairs were very heavy. You needed many people to move them. They moved them away. Some, one of the girls was moving upstairs, and there was an opening. And Rab Amram saw her, Rab Amram Hasida, and he, he desired her. He was ready to sin. The Yitzhahara gave him such koyach. On his own, he moved the ladder back, the steps back into place. They say he needed ten people to do it. He had koyach to do it. I'm just remembering a story about Yichud in the middle, I'm going to say it. There was once a God of Israel, a great Rebbe, who was 90-some years old. He was a cripple in bed, and he couldn't move. He paralyzed. Okay, so one day, a very great Godel came to town, and everyone in the shtetl went out to see the Godel. And his mishpacha left. They left him alone. They went. All of a sudden, he realized that they left the shiksa in home. He's at home, he would be the shiksa. Now he can't move. There's no one around. So what could he do? He threw himself off the bed, rolled him down three stories of three flights of steps into the road where it was raining and mud. And he was lying in the road when the Mishpocha came back. They screamed, Abba, what happened? What did you do? So he shouted to them, you, you caused me to be over on the Easter of Yehud. They said, Abba, come on. You're 90 some years old and you're paralyzed. And by the way, the shiksa is also 95 and she has no nose. Her nose was cut off. He said, the Yetzirah horror will give me koyach and will give her a nose. <laughs> and that's the chat here of Amran Hasid had the koyach to move back the steps. And he was already going up the steps to do the Avera. He stopped in the middle and he decided he has to save himself from the sin. He started shouting, Rab Amram's house is on fire. The house is on fire. The Rabbonim ran in. Where's the fire? And he said, it's better that I should be put to shame once in this world and not put to shame forever in the world to come. That's enough really to know how far the Koya of an Avera can pull a Chosid Shebechasidim it could have caused him to sin. And to what extent he went to save himself? By shaming himself. The Nefesh Chaim, he mentions this. There's a big kasha here. How could Hazal have written this story in the Gemara? To Midvaza, Rab Amram Hasida, from that day till this day, every Talmud Yeshiva, every Balabos, everyone learning a Daf Gemara and Kiddushin sees that Rab Amram Hasida was willing to do a Veira of such a caliber. How did they put it in the Gemara? We know that Kishbo who wants to is hoishish for the covet of, of tzaddikim. Im kol ze kavua hazal lahai uvda betalmuda. Hazal wrote this story in the Gemara. Lehoi reislanu darke Hashem ayesharim. To teach us to what an extent we have to go to save ourselves from sin. Even if it means to invaz ourselves. Just saying that this whole idea, if a person gets on the computer that it sends out messages to his wife, to his rabbi, to his father, I don't know. It's the same thing. Let, let everyone know where you're holding. It's the only thing that can hold you back. And don't be ashamed. The main thing is that you shouldn't sin. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.